G'day, my friends, it's Chubby. I'm here to talk about satellite jamming. Uh, I didn't even know it was a thing that goes on, but apparently there are countries around the world that this is an international problem. They made it illegal, but it's very impossible, almost impossible, virtually impossible to detect and determine who it is that's causing it. And even if you do determine who it is, which it is possible, remotely possible, you still can't do anything about it because they're doing it in their country and they can just blame it on other people. And So international pressures is the only means of stopping this kind of thing. Shot I shared. There has been an increase in the number of complaints about the jamming of satellite TV signals around the world. Broadcasters such as BBC, Voice of America, France 24, Deutsche Welle, and Al Jazeera have all seen transmissions of the international programs jammed recently. The European Broadcasting Union has accused Iran and Syria of being behind the disruption and of attacking media freedom. But authorities in Tehran and Damascus say that their broadcasts are also being interfered with. But how does satellite jamming work? And what can be done about it? Satellite jamming probably isn't that difficult to do. People who use zombie attacks and whatnot, it's probably similar to that when you flood a server and it just can't handle the amount of information coming to keep up with. So it gets bogged down, sometimes shut down. I imagine this is very similar to the zombie attacks and shutting down servers and whatnot. Same aspect, you know, flooding the shit out of their servers and whatnot would be my guess. <laughs> 